in this problem we have to search for words in a in a 2d board and uh, for example you are given a 2d board where each cell will have a character in it and it will be from small a to small g and you are also given a list of words so you have to find which of these words in the dictionary are present in this board so what we will do here uh, we will create a try out of this so we have put all these words into a try and this is the try for example you can see that e a t is here then r a i n is here similarly p and o are also here so what approach we will follow is that uh, we will start from top left corner first cell so we will start from first row take all the characters and run a dfs from there and in dfs we are allowed to move in four directions top bottom right left not diagonally so for example uh, you can see that o a t h is present here so we should return that this word is present your output will be only a subset of this so what we will do, do uh, we will start from here o and we will see if o is present there is a branch corresponding to o in the try or not if o is not there in there is no branch then we will return we will continue to the next cell but here we see that we have a branch corresponding to o so what we will do we need to trigger four dfss first we will go to right let's say this is the order 1 or uh, 2 3 4 you can take any order any of these four provided it's within the bounds that is it's uh, greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to n minus 1 so uh, n minus 1 and m minus 1 in both rows and columns so here o is valid so we uh, do a dfs from o and uh, we had passed a string empty string so for each cell of board do a dfs from that position ij and we will start with an empty string so here dfs 00 was called and a string was empty then here we saw that o is present here so what we will do we will append the current character so s now becomes this uh, o since we found it next what we will do we will look at these neighbors so there are only two neighbors so we will call dfs and this position will be 0 1 0 1 and the string will be this s that is o and when this is dfs on this is called we see, we will see if uh, this is the current pointer if we see o a is present or not a is present so we will make s equal to o a and then we will again trigger a dfs for this a so we will trigger dfs on uh, o a and it will be 0 2 so uh, we will see that OAA is not present so we will return back uh, next neighbor let's say we took this so we will call DFS on this this cell is uh, 1 1 1 and a string is again OA then we will see the current string is T so OAT is present so we will make the string equal to o a t and every time we will also check if this is end of the word or not for example this is end of word all others are false similarly this is also an end of word so o a t is present but it's not end of word so we will continue dfs from here so we will look for o a t a it will call dfs o a t a it will fail it will not find it so return then next neighbor is o a t h so dfs and this is 0 1 2 3 dfs of 2 1 o a t so the current character is h 
so we see o a t h is present or not yes and this is also end of the word so we append it to the result whenever we encounter end of the word we are keeping track of a, a common result where we will insert it and we don't have to repeat uh, it multiple times since o a t and if this is h then we have o a t h and o a t h in two directions o a t h and the one in yellow so we don't have to put it multiple times so we will keep a set here and we will keep inserting it and finally we will return a list out of this set so it's very simple the algorithm only thing is that you will need to implement a try as well as dfs so the idea is very simple not much of complexity in the idea so let's start coding first we will write it in c++ then java and python so first we will need a try class and in try we will make everything public so that we don't need to uh, we can keep track of the current node so we want to access the children directly although this is not a good way of uh, coding you don't need to expose the members of a class but let's do it for simplicity and here we have small letters so we can take it off length 26 then we will define the constructor default constructor and we will create the children so whenever we will insert a new character we will create a branch there otherwise it will be null and let's also define destructor although you you can skip this step since we will do a lot of dynamic allocation for different nodes it's better to define a destructor to clean the memory so we have defined uh, the try and its constructor now we will need to define the insert function and it will take uh, one parameter the word which we want to insert so initially uh, current is at root node and when we insert it it uh, we will move our pointer there so current is here this pointer let's say we want to insert uh oh thin to it let's say we have an uh empty try to begin with so we have an empty try i want to insert o a t h so it has 26 pointers all pointing to null so we will see the branch corresponding to a is there or not it's not so we will create it and this is current is here then we move current here the node that we created then we look at next character we see if this branch a is there or not if not we will create it and move current here and when we have inserted everything t h we reach the end then we define that current dot end of word equal to true so that way we will be inserting different words
if C minus A to get the index And finally, so we have defined the try. Now let's define our main function. So we will need to also define a DFS. So let's keep a placeholder for it. We will fill it. So if there are no words, then uh, we don't have to search for any word irrespective of whether board is empty or not. If there is no word in the dictionary, we return an empty vector. Then try, try. So we will insert all the words into a try in this try. So we have inserted everything into the try. Now we don't need to worry about this words. Everything is in the try. And we are keeping this unordered set to avoid duplication. And let's call it result. Then for int i equal to zero, i less than board dot size plus plus i. And we also need to pass this board here. So we got one parameter for our DFS and we pass it by reference. Then we have this result. We also need to update it in the DFS and again pass it by reference. And what else we need? Uh, an empty string from where to begin. So every DFS will start with an empty string. And that's it. Finally, the role of this DFS from every cell is to fill this result. And finally, we will create a vector of a string with, which is the return type for this. So we can create a vector from a set using this, pass the begin and end iterators. So include every element of this set and create a vector. And finally we will return this result v. And now we will implement the DFS. And here we passed uh, this i and j. And then this result here we are passing the result we will not be adding type here we will be adding here and next we had string s
so this is the current character ij and what we will do uh, once we uh, scan through it so let's say we reach here oa then we can come here t and this will trigger dfs on e sometime so we will come to e and it will again trigger dfs on o so we will go in cycle so what we will do we will whatever nodes are in the stack that is we are is in the process of dfs we will mark them as some other character let's say dollar so that when we come to e we will not take this path since this o is already in the stack or that will be denoted by some character let's say dollar so board i j equal to dollar and uh, if c is equal to this special character then don't proceed further return from here don't uh, trigger a new dfs on this cell so we have not passed a try here this will also need a try we need a pointer so address of this so we will see if uh, there is a uh, this uh, entry is present in the try or not if it's present that is if t is not null then we will do something otherwise this branch does not exist so terminate this dfs and convert this board ij back to the original character see if uh, the try is present then what we will do so we will keep a string so this was the s string passed from the calling node and here we saw that the current character is also present in the suffix in the prefix tree or the try so we have a larger string so we append this c to this and we trigger four more dfs for all the four neighbors uh starting with and we will pass this new and larger string but we need a bound check if uh i is greater than or i is less than board dot size minus one so max can be board dot size minus one so it should be less than that then we can trigger a dfs from here and again we will pass board then i plus one then j will remain same and result and this will be the new try t and what else this new string ss and also we need to make sure that if this is end of the word then insert it into the result so if and next uh, j is less than board 0 dot size minus 1 then uh, i should be greater than 
0 then only we can do i minus 1 similarly j should be if j is greater than 0 then we can call on this neighbor so we have called dfs on all the four neighbors and finally this will keep putting the results to this result set whenever it finds end of word so let's see redefinition of t so let's name it try we are using it as try so i don't know why it was past t A null pointer line 19 okay so th if this is this is null then we will create it if it's there we will not create it so this was a mistake and looks like it works so let's submit and this solution is accepted so next we will do it in java So we have uh, defined the try. Now we will define the DFS. And let's make it private.
and the java solution is also accepted finally we will do it in python So this is to get the sky value of a character. So we will find the difference that will denote the index of that children. So, uh, and we can use idx here. and we have implemented the try finally we will implement the functions of this dfs and the main function So we don't need to pass board since we have added in the cells and also the result.
and now let's complete this DFS function uh, self And the solution is accepted in Python as well.